let's talk about adding an aim assist for controller users in our game. Alright, so let's start out by defining what is aim assist. Well, if we take a look here, Google, we search our aim assist, we see our first result here. Uh, it's actually from the Microsoft Store. Okay, cool, I suppose. Uh, let's see, aim assist is the leading on screen site crosshair for enhancing visual. Okay, so uh, crosshair in the middle of the screen. I got you. All right, and there you go. There you have it. We go ahead. We've got ourselves aim assist. That's crosshair. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Now you guys know I'm not going to do it like that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take a look at uh, how aim assist is implemented and go ahead and under kind of understand what companies are doing for aim assist and see if we can implement that in. Now, whether you're working in 2D or 3D, the concept itself should be the same because it's going to be based on whether or not you have a character insight right so you're gonna have like some kind maybe like an aim assist uh ray cast for example and if that's colliding uh, with the character then aim assist is going to be active when you're slowly guiding slowing down sensitivity or just completely locking in so let's go ahead and take a look at a game and uh, let's see what it's like inside of that all right so that'll just take a moment to show up there we go and I just kind of react with some controls. I don't really use this all that often. Okay, so we can see with this, uh, when we're talking with aim assist, we got that slowdown. All right, so we're kind of kind of being pulled to the middle, but we're not like locked down. So really, we're just slowing down our aim in that direction, right? And we see. We can all clearly see that going, right? Hopefully. Aiming. Take note, that's only when we're aiming, right? This will yield the spec that into your state machine or whatever it is that you have set up. Is there? Do we actually have... I think it might actually have a little bit there. So you can see a little bit of rotation in there. You see, we are pulled in the direction, as far as our aiming goes, towards the character. And our overall sensitivity uh, gets slowed down. Same speed. See that slows down once we overlap. Alright, so now that we have an idea of what aim assist is, and how it seems to function in games, how developers are adding it in. Let's take a look at how we can add that to our own projects. All right, so to start off, I have my enemy here, which is just a character body 2D. It's got a sprite, it's got a collision shape. And uh, in my case here, I just have a sprite squished down, got a character body for the player, and I'm going to assume this sprite is, you know, my weapon. So if I go ahead and run this, we can see it aiming towards my mouse. So we know that we can point it at things perfectly fine. Awesome. Cool. Now, how can we actually implement this uh, aim assist? Because clearly it's, uh, it's not really affecting anything as we go by. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump into that spot. So to do that. Uh, I'm thinking we use Raycast because we can use this in 2D and 3D and keep the concept uh, similar. All right, taking this step by step, I have added an aim assist to uh, my sprite, right? My little gun here. Kind of hard to see, but if I zoom in, uh, we can see this blue Raycast here being shot out the side. And it's going out to the right, specifically just because this is the front of uh, my little sprite if I were to uh, aim, right? So for if you, if you were doing this 3D, you do it just like you're, uh, when you're aiming your weapon, 
right? You're going to cast your ray cast to the center of the screen. And I've named mine aim assist, specifically that's because that's what this is going to be responsible for. And this way as well, you can enable it, change the enable property in the inspector to on or off based on whether or not they have a controller connected, uh, whether or not they have aim assist turned on or off in the settings, you know, whatever it is you want to set. So that makes it easier to just turn it on and off when you need it just to have it as a separate raycast. Alright, so inside of our script to uh, make sure things are working, I simply just have an if check. So if my aim assist ray is colliding, and I'm just printing out get collider, which is going to give me the first object that it's colliding with. And if we were to run this, take a look, not get anything, then as soon as we overlap, my ray is going to turn red. If you don't have this, this debug and show visible collision shapes, make that appear. And you see as soon as it turns red and we collide, we're going to get enemy printed out character body. All right? So we can see that our ray is working. And if you're doing this in 3D as well, as soon as you just turn your camera and uh, obviously point, aim, whatever, uh, towards a character, that should obviously trigger it. Alright, so now we have to get this uh, slowed down effect. So let's see, how can we go ahead and accomplish this? So I've gone ahead and, and I've modified our code. So now I'm basically checking if our raycast is colliding, we're going to perform the code above. Else, we're not colliding. Um, instead of doing our look at, since we want this to be uh, obviously a smoother transition, we want to be able to modify this uh, for when we are colliding. Instead, we're going to create a tween. I'm going to get my global mouse position. I'll get the direction uh, from where I am into the direction of where the mouse is. I'm going to use that direction to get the rotation angle from my current to where I want to be. And then I'm just going to tween the property to that. All right, so myself, rotation property, uh, my uh, final location that I want to be at, which is our angle variable that we put in there. And I'm moving at 0.1, which I guess you can consider your sensitivity. And it's, whoops, want to actually run it. And as you see, it works fine. Um, you're going to uh, tweak your code a little bit there. So uh, you don't avoid to avoid that, which is uh, more so just going to be a, a 2D thing rather than 3D, I would presume here. Because uh, if you're in 3D, you probably already have your camera moving in that set around. Um, so you just got to get around this in 2D, which uh, shouldn't actually be too difficult. And now what about when we are colliding? Well, when we are colliding with our object, uh, where you see we're going to do basically the exact same thing. All right, we're going to create a tween. We're still going to go off our mouse position. We're still going to get the direction towards our mouse, get the angle. Now the difference is, uh, for the speed that we're going to go, our sensitivity of 0 0.1, we're also going to multiply that by our slowdown. Now I created a variable, slowdown, I called it, or set it as 10. So 10 times one, this is going to give me a one second rotation speed. And as you can see, that's going to give us a, a compared to what we're moving right here, decent slowdown. Now you can obviously tweak that number to whatever's to do. You see, there you go. You got much finer control and you have an assistance with uh, your aim. So obviously, if we were to come down, we could say 100, for example which would be a 10 second equivalent. And you see that's going to be super slow when tracking. Whereas if you had maybe four, that's going to be a very small difference, but it's a difference that you're going to feel. So you can go with that. So that, that's just going to come down to your own personal uh, tweaking and preference that you want to go. With. Now, if you're going in 3D, this is essentially the same thing uh, when you're moving around, when your raycast uh, collides with a target, then you're going to take your sensitivity and you're going to tweak it by how much you want to slow it down. Now, I haven't done 3D in uh, quite a while as far as an FPS controller goes, so I'm not sure if you want your slowdown to actually be higher or lower to affect it. 
in this aspect. Thinking lore, but I could be mistaken because like I said, it's been a long time. But in essence, that's what you have to do to create yourself a uh, an aim assist uh, type of effect. Now, uh, there you go. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you have yourself a bit of an aim assist. Now, obviously, if you want a lock on, then you're probably just going to make it a lot quicker. Which, of course, once you're locked on, you're kind of stuck, so you probably have a button to toggle between whether you're locked on or not, which is a complete, completely separate uh, type of system that's more of an auto aim feature. But there you go. There's how you can modify it with slowdown. Uh, the same concept, concept will apply in both 2D and 3D. Sensitivity times your slowdown. All right. There you go. Take care. Have yourselves a good one and I'll see you in the next one.